Hi, I'm Tim from RemodelingGuide.net and I'm just sitting out here on a beautiful floor today, New Year's Eve. Happy New Year to you. And uh, I'm spending the morning of my New Year's Eve looking at some pictures of houses online. I found this cool kitchen. I don't think it's the newest kitchen in the world, but it has some pretty good design ideas I thought I'd show you. So uh, take a look at this short video and hope uh, it helps you and have a great New Year. Thanks a lot for being here. So I came across this picture of Wellborn Cabinetry at the website of a contractor here in town. And um, I was looking at it, you know, I thought the picture itself seems maybe a little bit dated. Um, like this, this kitchen's not yesterday's uh, brand new job, but something maybe from a few years back. But there's some design ideas in here that I just thought were worth pointing out. So I just want to show you real quick what they are. Um, this thing here under the stairs, the thing, I guess it's shelving unit. This little, little area of open shelving under the stairs is a great design idea. Anytime you see an opportunity to, to integrate your staircase into your design is something you want to try and do. Uh, I, I've seen a number of great things. I ought to do a post on just pictures of integrating stairs into designs, but the way this is done with these shelves it really looks great. I also like the beadboard. I'm a big beadboard fan. I love the beadboard in the back of that. And um, and you'll notice that they also use the beadboard down underneath this little uh, lower island area. And the island area itself is another pretty cool design idea because it's uh, not only got the beadboard underneath it, but it also has uh, some asymmetry in the doors and drawer faces on the front of it. And I think that really looks good. This would look a lot less interesting uh, if it was uh, symmetrical. Normally I'm a big fan of symmetry. And uh, I'll show you something in a minute here that, that uh, is a asymmetrical that I don't like. So you never know. I guess it's uh, to each his own. But I like that. Um, and then down here... Uh, right next to that cabinet with the uh, shelving unit above it is a couple of there are a couple other cool ideas there's the wine little stack of wine storage which is a pretty neat little way to use some space and then at the end of this uh, base cabinet there's some open shelves there and uh, that's also another great way to use space and just a neat design idea now something that's not so good and I've given it a yellow error because uh, arrow yellow arrow because it's something you want to use caution with or else you'll make an error and uh, and in this case you know I'd have to be in this kitchen to be in this space myself to see how it feels but I think I probably wouldn't like what I'm looking at here you see that they've got this uh, molding that wraps around sort of like a fireplace mantle above the hood area which is beautiful that looks great I love the whole hood area and the way they've changed a the different color um, than the rest of the cabinets but the way that that molding comes into the face of that other cabinet, um, that's a little bit of a problem to me. I mean, it, it, my experience tells me from, from having seen this firsthand myself that that doesn't look as great uh, up close and personal as it does in a picture. The reason why is because that cabinet door now has to have extra space to the right hand side of it so that that molding will have a place to die into the face of the cabinet. So when you look at that, what you're going to see is this cabinet door with you know maybe an inch on one side of face frame exposed and on the other side four inches and that asymmetry there I think would bother me you know again to each his own but I just uh, wanted to point that out as something to watch out for when you're designing the kitchen be careful not to do that um, the last thing I want to point out as I've gone through the greens and the yellows and um, I thought that I would uh, point out a red why not you know the, I hate to be critical of what people have done because this is a beautiful kitchen, but in my opinion, uh, this kitchen needs a better light fixture. Uh, you know, lighting can really make such a major difference, and this is so much work gone into making this beautiful kitchen, I really think it needs better lighting. So those are just a few design points and ideas that I saw from this. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it's helpful to you in your designs. Have a great day.